welcome to the Healthy OC segment on Real Orange. I'm Heidi Cortese. Did you ever think marijuana would be publicly recognized as having medicinal purposes? Our guest, Nicole West, is a purveyor of medical marijuana. She will tell us why so many cancer and HIV patients are high on this project. Hi there, Nicole. Hello. So, besides the obvious feel-good feelings for marijuana, uh, what are the medicinal benefits for HIV and cancer patients? Well, pretty much any patient who has any sort of neuropathical damage, they'll benefit from this as far as pain management is concerned, uh, as well as any chemo patients who end up with loss of appetite, they lose a lot of weight, things like that. Cannabis actually brings your appetite back. It keeps you from feeling nauseous and actually will help suppress the vomiting that is often induced after chemotherapy treatments. Now, you're calling it cannabis. Um, we've heard it, we commonly know it as marijuana, and it's also referred to as hemp. Are there different types of cannabis? There are. There are many different types, actually, um, two of which are the medicinal property types of cannabis, cannabis indica and cannabis sativa. Um, they have cannabinoids in these specific plants that are beneficial for all the different reasons, anti-inflammatory purposes, pain management, like I said, uh, the nausea problems and things like that. Now, uh, THC and CBD, those are cannabinoids? Yes, they're cannabinoids. Um, cannabinoids are actually found in the plant as well as in our bodies, in our immune systems, in our brains. Uh, we have cannabinoid receptors in our brains that are responsible for not only your mood, uh, your appetite, your pain sensations, um, those receptors are actually what helps it so that your body can relieve the pain or get an appetite again. Uh, the cannabinoids in the plants are called photocannabinoids, which are what we find in the cannabis plant itself. Within ourselves, they're called endocannabinoids or cannabinoid receptors. Now, uh, if, if someone is HIV positive, let's say, and they want to get a prescription for marijuana, uh, is it difficult to get? For an HIV patient, absolutely not. Um, for the average person, it is a task. Uh, you have to have a legitimate medicinal reason for needing it. Um, obviously, HIV is one of the more common and cancer as well necessary uh, treatments. Cannabis offers so many benefits to those people. Uh, but besides that, you actually have to go in for a one-on-one -on -one visit with a doctor. It's very personal. Um, you have to explain to them your condition you have to have medical records if they're not your general practitioner. Um, a lot of regular doctors these days are actually willing to do that as well. You won't need to go to a special doctor. Just your regular general practitioner will show you and, and give you a recommendation for it. So, and you use the word recommendation, so you're not actually getting a prescription like you would for ibuprofen, for instance. No, um, because prescriptions are federally backed, um, and this is still a class one drug, so it's only a recommendation. Your doctor recommends that you use this to help with your ailments. Um, so they give you a letter, signed, stamped, and dated for one year, usually anywhere from six months to a year of a recommendation for that. And what's the best way um, to use marijuana? Most doctors will tell you definitely through ingestion, eating it, or vaporizing, because through vaporizing, you will have none of the carcinogens that's found through smoking. Well, I know there's a whole lot more information we'll have to investigate later on, but thank you so very much thank for you being for having here me. today. You weeded out all the facts, and yes, the grass is greener on the other side. I'm Heidi Cortese for the Healthy OC on Real Orange. Be well.